someone made a comment, tweeted a comment and said this. Since quitting the farm, Prince Harry has done work in the USA, the Netherlands, Mozambique, and soon Germany. Media is respectful to Prince Harry. Security is a given. Government officials are welcoming. It's a shame he has to fight for basic decency in UK courts while the world watches. My family, I have this to say to this comment. Yes, the world is watching. Yes, the world is seeing just how bigoted tabloid media in the UK really are. The world is seeing just how veterans in the UK are treated. Like how Prince Harry, someone who served his country for more than 10 years, is currently being treated, my family. Because everywhere else he goes, whether it's Netherlands, security is provided for his wife and for him. The media is respectful to Prince Harry. Everyone respects him. Whether he goes to Mozambique, officials out there, they respect him. Hotels, hotels that Prince Harry stays in, they all say, hey, look, we do not share any information related to our clients who stay in this hotel. My family, do you think, can you imagine that ever happening in the UK? No, you can't. I mean, think about what happened, for instance, during Prince Harry's trip to Mozambique. Someone, you know, in the hotel, the hotel people were asked questions about Prince Harry's trip to Mozambique, about what Harry was doing. And they said, hey, look, we do not give information about our clients or residents who stay in the hotel, respecting Prince Harry's privacy, his right to privacy. Do you think that, that will ever happen, have happened in the UK? In Villa Kulo's Mozambique, Harry is respected. Everywhere else it goes, Netherlands, Germany, that is headed to, he will be respected and treated with dignity and respect that he deserves for what he has done for the veteran community. Only in the UK with the media and the farm who constantly disrespect him, who constantly engage in smear campaign against Harry and Meghan. They're the only ones and the world, the world sees that. The world sees the smear campaign. The constant disrespect and dehumanization of Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, that is shown to her. They see the racism, and that is an indictment of the establishment in the UK. From the royal family, the farm, the British government, and tabloid media, all of them are completely devoid of any form of morals whatsoever. Now, someone even said this, that it's also a shame that almost the entirety of the UK media, the mainstream, right-wing, fringe, all of them operate as a propaganda arm of the UK royal family. There are always the same talking points, unsubstantiated accusations, which filter into online blogs and comments. My family, I said this before, tabloids want drama. Remember what Harry said, they don't report the news, they create the news. They create the news and they have chosen Prince Harry and Meghan as their source for drama. And they have chosen to turn Prince Harry and Meghan's, you know, anything having to do with them. And even if Harry and Meghan don't speak to them, they're still going to try and formulate any form of drama surrounding Harry and Meghan's lives. Instead of doing what they've said, like, for instance, they've called Harry and Meghan irrelevant. Instead of covering the ones they believe to be relevant, they cover the ones they have called and labeled as being irrelevant. My family, no one does hypocrisy more than the tabloid media. Despite the fact that Harry and Meghan want nothing, do not communicate or engage with tabloid media, still, they're like, it doesn't matter whether Harry and Meghan don't speak to us. They have a narrative to sell. And they want to keep trying to sell that bigoted narrative. Oh, look, Harry's unhappy. Oh, look, Harry wants to come back to the UK. Oh, look, Harry wants to, you know, work with the rotor again. 
lies, 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 lies. And misogynistic treatment. But Megan is controlling him. Majority of you have heard the language being used. And that language is misogyny. Misogyny towards Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. You know, I once asked Chris Shipp, what is the difference between the Taliban being misogynistic towards women and tabloids being misogynistic towards Megan? I got blocked for asking that question. He blocked me because he knew exactly what I was saying was nothing but the entire truth. Truth. There is no difference between the Taliban being misogynistic towards women and the tabloids being misogynistic towards Megan. That's a fact. They don't hide it. They openly show it in their articles, in their talk shows, how they treat Megan. They can't handle or control their racism. And that is an indictment of the establishment in the UK. From the royal family to the tabloids. And both of them, you cannot differentiate between the tabloids and the royal family. They are both all one and the same. Someone called Kimia Glasgow said this. The UK does not deserve Prince Harry. They haven't learned from Diana as yet. Yesterday I said that, imagine being angry at a man who walked behind his mother's coffin at such a young age because his mother was chased to her death by paparazzi due to tablet obsession, obsessed with Diana's life. And being angry at that man because he won't let the same thing happen to his wife. That's the state of the tabloid media in the UK. Pissed off, angry. And some derangers who believe what they're told by the tabloids. And these supposed people, individuals who call themselves monarchists and support their own family. Who still are angry that a husband won't let you do to his wife what you did to his mother. And that is chase them to their deaths. Despite being told that Megan had several thoughts, they don't care because they've been told dehumanizing Megan makes money for these people, for these so-called carnival or so-called experts, the tablet media owned by Maddox and Rothmeyer. They've been doing this for a long, long time. And it's high time that someone exposes them for what they're doing. And it's high time that more and more people join in and call out this harassment. You know, my family, they have used to getting, they are used to getting away with so, so many illegalities. The harassment of women, the bullying and abuse of women. By removing of the checkbook and paying money, compensation. It's high time that they are held accountable. The Maddox and the Rothmers are held accountable individually for the harassment and bullying of women who marry into the royal family, as well as the farm itself, from Prince Charles, the Queen. Prince William, Kate, Camilla, all of them are responsible. As I said, you cannot differentiate the tabloids from the royal family. You cannot, my family. And I'm glad that someone will say this, that it has not escaped our notice nor our judgment exactly what is happening to Harry and Meghan. It has not escaped our notice or judgment. People are seeing exactly just how the establishment treats Prince Harry and Meghan. And how other countries treat Harry and Meghan. Even Diana herself said it, my family. So you can see how history is repeating itself with Harry and Meghan. Diana said that in different countries, she treated well. In the UK, tablets only hunt for negativity. And it's so toxic. They she said herself that any sane person would have left a long time ago. My family... If Diana has said it, Megan repeated it, the same same thing, the same same comments, exactly how the tabloids are. They bully women, they abuse women, and then they expect the women to shut up and just take it. Well, they, when they are subjected, subjected to a, a fraction, a fraction of what they did to Megan and Prince Harry, like Victoria Abita is a liar, they cry white tears and say, hey, look, ever since that expose whereby she took money. When they are subjected to a fraction of what they dish out to Prince Harry and Meghan, what do they do? 
Like Victoria Abitre is a liar. She cries white tears. Oh, look, I couldn't get out of my home. My eyelashes fell off. But yet expect Megan to just take their abuse. Take their lies. When so-called cannibal or so-called experts are exposed, like how Victoria Abitre is a liar was exposed for commenting on an interview that had not aired, shamelessly, she cried white tears. She said that her eyelashes are falling off. She couldn't leave her home for months after she was exposed for being who she is, a liar, greedy for profiting of the dehumanization of biracial woman Megan who married into the royal family. My family, they will never ever handle or survive a fraction of what they reached out to Prince Harry and Meghan, yet expect Harry and Meghan to just take it. That's a big, big no from me. That's a big, big no. And also hypocrisy of the so-called carnival or so-called export is clearly shown just how they are. And more and more people are noticing. And more and more people are watching. My family, we need to keep growing our community so we can spread the message. And I believe that if more and more people know, we can end this once and for all. We can end this mere campaign. We can end these attacks once and for all. We need to condemn and let even the royal family here condemn the harassment of Megan. And the royal family to also know that the tabloids are not the only ones harassing Megan because they hide under the tabloid media. Like it's not us. It's the tabloids. It's not us. It's the tabloids. And the same same carnival or so-called experts are going on record to say the leaks, the lies against Harry Meghan are coming from within the royal family. You cannot differentiate the royal family from the tabloid media. They are one and the same. The royal family is hiding under the tabloids. It's high time we remove that blanket from the royal family. Let them be exposed for who they are and what they are doing, the harassment, the bullying of Harry and Meghan, because they are a part of it. They are taking part in the bullying of Harry and Meghan, and it's high time more and more people call them out for it. Because remember, if there is one thing the royal family does not want, it's for the public to turn on them. If there is something that they hate, it is bad press or negative press. That is what they hate the most. That is what they fear the most public opinion shifting away from them, against them. Well, it's high time we bring in more voices to call out the monarchy because that's the only way they will stop the harassment and the bullying of Harry and Meghan. My family, someone else said this. It looks like the royal family, it looks like the royal family is going through very, very disturbing things. How much longer will the people of England continue to support and fund them with their elitism, racism, pedophilia, extra marital affairs, and family dysfunction? They are now obsolete. Time for a big change. Indeed, it's time for a big, big change in the UK. The monarchy needs to be abolished. Someone said that Harry is a people's prince, down to earth guy. Much love to, much love to him and his family. The UK has embarrassed itself on the world stage as their media is relentless in their attacks on Harry and Meghan as well as their children. Their horrendous, orchestrated conduct only proves that Harry and Meghan were right to leave the royal family circus. circus. It's despicable. Every time they continue the harassment of Harry and Meghan, they show the entire world why Harry and Meghan had no choice but to leave. When these three rangers claiming to support Prince William and K. Milton, while at the same time, they're spending their time harassing and insulting Meghan and targeting charities that Harry and Meghan are associated with, like World Child, which supports children with illnesses. They show the entire world why Harry and Meghan had no choice but to escape that hate and toxicity. All of it brought about by the farm, William and Kim Milton's jealousy towards Prince Harry and Meghan because Harry and Meghan were more popular and more loved by the public than William and Kate Milton. The world sees them. The world sees them and sees exactly what they're doing. And thank you so much to these other countries for treating Harry and Meghan with dignity and respect. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Netherlands, where Harry and Meghan went for the Invitas Games, for providing Harry and Meghan with security. 
Thank you, Germany, also for respecting and treating Harry and Meghan with dignity, as Harry and Meghan are traveling to Germany on September ahead of the Vitas Games that will happen next year in Dusseldorf. Thank you, because I know in these countries, Harry and Meghan will receive adequate protection. Thank you for that as well. Thank you so, so much for that. And may God bless each and every single one of these countries for supporting and protecting Prince Harry and Meghan. For treating them with dignity when the UK establishment, whereby Prince Harry served for 10 years in the military, can't show Harry dignity. My family, with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and support our evergreen family on YouTube. My family will love you always and forever. And stay tuned to our next video. What do you think about some of these comments that I've read out to you? And I want to hear your opinion. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Libby, Diana, and Doria Ragland. And all of you members of the squad, my family here on YouTube and your families. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Harry and Megan will continue thriving, not surviving. No matter how many obstacles Harry and Megan will face, they shall face together as a team. They faced a lot. And to this day, Harry and Megan stand tall, tall and strong, and are thriving. Those are blessings from God. And may God continue blessing them so much. My family, stay tuned to our next video. I can't wait to see what Harry and Megan have in store for us. I can't wait for next month. Stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.